While many automakers have issued major recalls in 2014, General Motors has been taking most of the media scrutiny. GM has contributed to nearly three quarters of the recalled vehicles so far this year. GM's internal handling of its faulty ignition switch landed CEO Mary Barra on the hot seat. This should have never happened. It is unacceptable. We are better than this, but we have to own this problem and we have to have the courage to deal with it in the right way. So what has this meant locally? Auto Show TV sat down for a little one-on-one -on -one with Al Cerrone from Cerrone Chevrolet Buick GMC in South Attleboro. So Al, what has been your reaction to the GM recalls and, and all of the publicity that has followed? Well, John, I'm, I'm glad that you asked me this. I'm glad someone has asked me this question because it, it's tough to see my company, General Motors, a company that I love so dearly and that's been such a big part of my life for so many years, sure. be under the microscope that it is right now. But this is the car business and it's a recall and recalls happen and they happen to every manufacturer for a variety of reasons. And when they do, it's up to us as a GM representative to get that recalled vehicle fixed as quickly as possible. And, and let's face it, I mean, there are thousands of parts in every car and truck. And sometimes the part just isn't right and it needs to be made better and it needs to be replaced and that's what we do. What do you want the people watching to know about all of this? Well, first of all, and most importantly, I want them to know that we really care. And I think every dealer really cares because they put themselves in their, in their shoes. You don't want your car to be inconvenient or tied up because people need that car. They drive it every day. It takes them to work. It takes them out in the middle of the night. It, it takes them through snowstorms. The car has to be right. And we care about that because we don't want you here in our dealership and we don't want you unhappy. So if people understand that and they come in with the right frame of mind that we are gonna do everything we can to get that part, that new part in their vehicle. And most of these operations that, that they do, the recalls, are small time. It's less than an hour. The parts are not expensive and it can be done very, very quickly. All we have to do is get the parts from General Motors, in our case, and we get it in as quickly as we can. The customer never pays. No, GM, in this case, pays for everything, parts and labor. What has all this meant to your business? Obviously, we've been impacted, and other dealers have been impacted as well. Sure. And we keep abreast of the news just like everyone else, but we are in this for the long haul. We've been taking care of customers' cars and trucks for almost 40 years, and hopefully we go another 40 years. So how are sales? Sales are very, very good. We're selling a lot of cars and trucks, and so is General Motors. As a matter of fact, with the technology that they have today, I believe that these are the safest cars and trucks that we have ever sold. So tell me about your increased staff and all the, the steps you've taken to really take this seriously. Well, to deal with the recalls, four things come to mind immediately. First of all, is we have increased our parts inventory probably up to $30,000. We want to have more parts. We want to have the parts ready. When you call, you come in, we can get it done right away. And secondly, we've increased our administrative staff in service because we need extra bodies to answer the phone calls, make the appointments, and process the paperwork. Thirdly, We've added some technicians and, of course, always top flight technicians to deal with these recall issues. Sure. And fourthly, we've increased our hours in service. We're open now Monday through Thursday till 7 o'clock at night, Fridays till 6 o'clock, and Saturdays we're open till 5. How about for GM owners? Maybe they bought a pre-owned car mm -hmm. and they're not sure they're ever going to get a notice in the mail. How can they try to find out if their I'm, cars I'm been glad affected. that you asked that question because GM has set up a website specifically for this and when you contact the website they will tell you if your vehicle you have to have your vehicle identification number so get your registration so you can you know type it in and and that website will tell you if your vehicle is involved in any recall I want to ask you about Mary Barra because she is now running GM 
and she has been kind of thrown into the fire a little bit. How do you think she's done handling all of this? I think Mary Barra has stood tall, and uh, I mean, I'm not privy to all the details, but I, I read up about it, and I can only imagine the intense scrutiny that this woman has been put under, and, and for a problem that she really didn't create. And right. although she's been with GM for a while, she's part of the culture. I don't think she's part of the culture that she wants to fix, which is being so upfront, so straightforward with people. If you make a mistake, admit it right away. Don't hide it and hope it's going to go away because it isn't. And so I give her a 10 out of 10. Any doubt in your mind that General Motors is going to learn from this? No doubt in my mind that they will. I mean, we all make mistakes, including General Motors, and it's just a matter of how we respond to it. And, and I want to cite an example. Look at Toyota. Several years ago, Toyota recalled almost 20 million vehicles for a variety of reasons, some of them very, very serious. Right. They did the right thing, they fessed up, and look where they are today. And I have no doubt GM is in the same position.